Hey everyone, it's Y again. In the latest update to the Master Chief Collection, add support for maps that were made for Halo Custom Edition. The process to getting those maps playable on MCC can be a little confusing, so I figured why not make a guide explaining how to set everything up. Before I explain how to do this, you'll need a few things. You're going to need the Steam version of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, the files for Halo Custom Edition, a program that extracts zip files, in this case I'll be using WinRAR, and the .map file of the map you want to play on. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the Steam version of this game. That step is pretty self-explanatory, since you just gotta get the game from the Steam store. Now, assuming that you have the game, the first thing I want you to do is back up your map files. This is important because you're going to be replacing those map files with new custom map files. To do that, you're going to want to go to this location in the File Explorer. Once you're in the Build folder, you'll see a Maps folder. Go ahead and make a copy of that. This copy will serve as your backup. Feel free to rename that Maps Copy folder to something else if you like. Just make sure you keep it handy in case you need it. Next thing you want to do is make sure you have a program that can uncompress zip files. Again, I'll be using WinRAR in this video, and I'll leave a link in the description on where you can download that. And once you have that all set, you'll want to download the Halo Custom Edition game, which can be found in the link provided. This will take you to halomaps.org, and you want to click on the red download text near the lower part of the screen. You'll then be asked to wait 20 seconds before your download starts, which will go ahead and speed up to save us some time. After those 20 seconds, your download should start. Once that download's finished, you'll want to go to this location in your file explorer. And then in another window, go to where your download is. This is where the uncompression program comes into play. Go ahead and right click on the custom edition file, and you're going to want to extract the contents of that file. So we'll click extract here. If you happen to get a window that says confirm file replace, just click no to all. This will extract a number of folders from the file with the maps folder being the one we're looking for. There'll be a few files in here, and the ones that we're interested in is the bitmaps.map, the lock.map, and sounds.map. You'll want to bring these three files over to the Master Chief Collection in the folder I had you open earlier. That gets the game set up to play the maps. Now we gotta go get a map. Head back over to halomaps.org and click on the Halo CE Maps tab. This is a great website for finding user-created maps. Let's go ahead and try out this map called Blood Islands. Just click on the title of the map, which brings us to the maps page with some screenshots of the map. And again, we're gonna to wanna to click the red download text. There's another 20 second timer you have to wait before your download starts. And once that's done, your file should begin downloading. You can see that the map downloaded as a zip file, which means we'll need to use WinRAR again. Head on over to where it's downloaded, double click it, and in this particular file's case, there's both a map file and a text file. We only want the map file, so go ahead and click and drag that map file to the maps folder for the Master Chief Collection that we opened earlier. Now before the game will load up the map, you're going to replace one of the existing maps. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but for this example, I'm just going to use Beaver Creek. Or just to clear up any confusion, what is called in-game, which is Battle Creek. For the sake of convenience, I'm going to go ahead and copy the text of the file name. I'll then delete the original file, and then paste that file name as the name of the custom map file. So now if you look at the file name, you would think Blood Islands is actually Beaver Creek. The last thing you want to do is launch the game with the anti-cheat off. Just boot the game from Steam as you normally would, and then this window should pop up. You want to pick the second option. You want to select this option anytime you're using mods. Just keep in mind, this disables things like matchmaking and earning achievements. After making your selection, go ahead and hit play and the game should boot up normally. Head on over to Custom Games and select Combat Evolved and then choose the map that you replaced. Since I replaced Battle Creek, I'll go ahead and play that one. The loading screen should show the map that you replaced, but once you load in, you should be playing on the custom map. Slay. And there you have it, you can play Halo Custom Edition maps on the Master Chief Collection. Just try not to forget to keep backups of the original maps and replace the custom map with the original map when you're done playing with it. If you found this video helpful, consider hitting that like button and subscribe to my channel for even more content. Thanks for watching and have a good one.